Right, apologies for no episode over the weekend, folks. Uh, work and other commitments meant I wasn't able to actually record and get the video edited in time. But we're back now, and it's time to dive into the Europa League against Lille as we continue to see how far we can take this Norwich City side. Hello and welcome back everyone to episode 28 of Unemployed to Legend with Norwich City. My name is Craig and coming up on today's episode, as mentioned, it is the Europa League quarterfinals against Lille. First leg is away, so it gives us an opportunity to get that all-important away goal. But since you were last with me, we've only had a few games since the PSV tie in the last round of the Europa League. And it's safe to say the form has been a bit mixed. Uh, we're out of the FA Cup against Man City. And then we took a win against Fulham, but then a loss against Tottenham. I was kind of fearing about the Tottenham game, actually, because we went 3-0 down inside 15 minutes. But then we made a game of it afterwards. So 3-2, it's a bit of a shame, but it's not as bad as what it could have been. But for the moment, our focus is all on the Europa League. As mentioned, we have Lille in the quarter-finals, and the semi-final draw has also been done as well. If we do manage to progress against Lille, we will face either Tottenham or Eintracht uh, Frankfurt. Hopefully it will be Frankfurt that we'll be heading off to face. But we have to do the business first and we start away from home. Hopefully, as I mentioned, getting that all important away goal. Since it's going to be the team that we're going to send out against Lille, it will be Gabriel Brazau in goal. Gonzalez Mavopanos. Lovato and Nikov actually no. Why why is Mavopinos there? Oh yeah, because Charisma is suspended. Right. He's suspended for this tie, but he'll be back for the second leg. So that's the only reason Mavopinos is in. Uh, alongside Lovato as the ball playing defender. Nikolov at right back because Carrasco is unregistered. Gamin and Seki in midfield with Ginchard, Udrago and Fires across the attack in midfield. Peter Lynch up front. Fires is back in the squad. I think he's back, been back for the last couple of games, yeah. And he has one assist. Not bad for a player who's just coming back from injury. He did miss four games. The entire four-game run from PSV all the way to Man City. Ironically, uh, one of the biggest periods of our season, but there we go. But we go in effectively at full strength. Bar Carrasco. To be honest with you, I'm starting to prefer Carrasco at right back compared to Nikolov. I don't know why. It's just a thing. Oh god, have they got Jonathan Davids, the one of Canada's best players in this squad? Oh, okay. Alright then, we're going as the underdogs, but the fact that they have clearly a quality player in that Lil side does worry me a little bit. Let's just have a look here. Uh, Ikone I've heard of. Yep, Jonathan David. Hudson Adori plays for them as well. Wow, okay. So this is... We've all, we had a look at the end of the last episode, in case you didn't see. Lille are a top four French Ligue 1 side. They're not quite on the level of a PSG. PSG is still running away with that league, even six, seven years into the future. But they are a team that will... Uh, well, they can, clearly, they can hurt you. And it's our job to try and minimise that as much as possible. As they just get in here, and that's not something we want. And oh, it's a good save by Gabriel. We're going to need him a lot in this time. I have a feeling we are going to need him. One thing to note is, as much as we have fires back, it's also useful for us that Peter Lynch has started bagging a few goals in and of himself as well. And uh, get up, Hudson Odoi, get up. You literally went down after the ball was lost. And fires is driving the ball through here. Hopefully he can find Lynch, who, like I said, is on a bit of a goal-scoring run recently, and that wasn't what we wanted to see. We just feel a bit disjointed early on it just feels like they're running rings around us very early in this match not something we want but we knew it's going to be tough Norwich haven't been this far in Europe I think ever have I, what's their best run in Europe ever ah oh, that, that wasn't what we wanted to see but yeah I'll be very interested if someone could let me know down in the comments um what's the furthest Norwich have ever gone in Europe I know they've never won a European trophy that'd be a nice thing to bring home, but mm, after that goal, uh, hmm, oh, he slid in for that as well. Defence were nowhere. Come on, boys, what have we got in the locker? Huh? I know it's been a long season, but we don't want it to end here. 
I know we've got to go back to our place, but I'd like us to actually take a respectable scoreline. An away goal would be very, very handy, of course. I mean, I'd happily take a 1-1. At this point. Here we go. We've got a corner. Seki drives it in. And. Oh I thought. Oh, I thought it might be a penalty. But it isn't. And unfortunately Lil. Are on the break here. We might actually have to play. Oh. We might have to play two. Holding midfielders. Oh. It's so early in the game though. I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Oh. Defensive midfielder, you sit in there. Oh, man. What do we do here? Because this is not looking comfortable. We're just lumping the ball forward for absolutely no reason. I haven't told them. Hang on. I'd like to see the team instructions once we actually get this out of the way. Are we playing short ball? Oh, God. We're playing standards. No wonder. Hold shape. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'd like to play a shorter game because otherwise we end up just lumping the ball forward for absolutely no reason. Seki. Into Mavopanos, but he couldn't quite get it on. I think it just got headed out. There is Seki. There is Fires and Fires. Gets lucky on the rebound and slots home his 23rd of the season. Still surprises me with every single goal that goes in. But yeah, the ball was cleared. Mavopanos unfortunately couldn't get to it. How tall are the defenders? We've got six foot four in there. Fires at the second time of asking slots the ball home and that is the away goal we were looking for that is the away goal we wanted as Lynn unfortunately are coming in again here they're just going to be a danger oh for goodness sake yeah every time they go forward this is a very very strong Lil side ah oh, 3-1 I mean I don't want to see that again that was just horrible absolutely horrible Right, let's go in a half time. Let's just regroup. Let's just calm down a bit because every time they'll go forward, they just look like they want to absolutely smash us. They look like they're capable of scoring with every chance. We're going to have to take Seki off here, unfortunately. Angelo Stiller is going to come on. He is going to be that ball winning midfielder. That's what he's best at. So Gamming can stay as the defensive midfielder. That's fine. And we go again in the second half. Let's see if it makes a difference. Gonzalez with the throw in. Put the ball in, son. Let's have a look. Who's there? Oh, it was Peter Lynch. He was there. I didn't think he won the header. Oh, so, so needed. So needed. Now, if only we could stop Lil scoring and scoring at ours as well. I don't know how likely that is. I mean, stranger things have happened in Football Manager, but that was well won. I mean, their defender, I thought he had actually won that, but. You know what, I'll take it. I'll, t I'll take whatever scraps I can at this point. It's a hard-fought game, this. 3-2. I mean, my goodness. And the whole point is just to... In fact, they've done the very same thing as us. Um, well, they've been doing it all game. Have two midfielders sitting in in front of that back four. And just let the front four run riot. Uh, Aldo is... The assistant manager saying to put Aldo in central defence. Can he play there? I'm very surprised. And, oh god, three of our front four are looking very, very tired right now. Udrago is going to come off and just hope the other, th the other two can just hold out for a little bit longer. We have got a week off between this game and the next game. We don't have any game at the weekend because it's supposed to be the FA Cup. But, of course, that's not going to be happening because we're not in the semi-finals. Fires is going to come off for Balagoon. Where is he? Gavin is also tired. Oh. Come on, guys, just hold out for a bit longer because then we've got a week off. I messed up. Right. Can Campwell play here? Yes. Well, Ginchard can play there. Right, Campwell can play here. Right, just play as wingers. Oh, no, don't play as a winger. <gasps> don't play as a winger, for goodness sake. Inverted winger, uh, wide playmaker. Right, you can play as a winger. So that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Balogun can play in attacking midfield. Lynch can stay up front. I, I mean, I mean, there's nothing else I can do. That was the last thing we needed. 
and we're just going to try and waste as much time as is humanly possible. Yes, we've lost 3-2, but it's not the worst result in the world. We've got those two away goals. Yeah, it wasn't to be. I did play the underdog team talk before. But we do have a chance in the home leg. We've got two away goals. Now we have to go at them in the second leg at home. Second game now against Lille, and this is the game we have to go for it. So with those two away goals, we have to make them count by scoring in this game and trying to keep a clean sheet if possible. So that being said, a couple of changes have been... Actually, no, sorry, three changes have been made for this team. Karezmo is back in defence, replacing Mavopoulos, who's dropped to the bench. And Stiller is in for the injured uh, Jean-Philippe Gamin, who is out for up to another three weeks. Great. And Seki has been sacrificed in place of Jean Mimi Keki. In fact, those two should be swapped over. So hopefully. Wait, can you not play there? Who's actually better? Oh, alright. Scrap that. Aldo's coming in <laughs> instead for Gamin. And Keki will be on the bench. So apparently, his manager at Barcelona, uh, Ronald Koeman, is not happy that Aldo is not getting a lot of match time. And I did say he'll get more opportunities, so you know what? This is your opportunity. On the big stage, the Europa League quarterfinals, let's see if you can actually, well, do us a favour and uh, try and get us into the semi-finals of the Europa League. Full house here. The fans are expecting a crack of a game. Personally, I'll take a 1-0 win. A 1-0 win, one highlight, boring match otherwise. We're not going to get that, are we? The football manager doesn't do that sort of thing. Football manager does full-on drama. We know this. Anybody who's ever played the game will know this. So let's see how it goes. hudson Adoy with the free kick, which just goes over. My heart was just like, doop, just stopped for like a heartbeat of a second. Well, no heartbeat in a second, more to the point. Gonzalez with the throw-in, and it went terribly. I don't know what it is with throw-ins in this game. You're, it's just, it seems to be my players just don't seem to throw it to my player. Fires thankfully now has the ball, and why is Lynch running the wrong way? What is wrong with this match engine sometimes? Like, I just don't understand it. Oh god, I know what I've done. Oh no, 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 no. Short passing. I need to change that in between matches. I really do need to change that. And that wasn't what we wanted to see. They've got an away goal. 4-2 on aggregate. And I keep forgetting to change it to shorter passing. Because this team doesn't understand instructions. Don't want to see the replay. It was bad enough already. I know what happened there. Oh, goodness me. Just pressing the whole time. Come on, boys. This might be a case of step too far. It just feels like the match engine doesn't want you to keep the ball. Gonzalez tried to stop it there, but he just placed the ball directly into the into the feet of the attacker. Right, throw in, and Udrago, oh, Udrago's just gone off of injury, hasn't he? This man can't stay injury free. It's just disappointment all around. My goodness! Oh, what a horrible goal to concede! What a horrible way to go out. We gave ourselves such a fighting chance. 5-2 on aggregate. Lille were just too strong. Oh, for goodness sake. You know those times when the match engine just really pounds you for just enjoying the game? Well, this is clearly it. It's now a bad run of form. Right, second half has just started and we've made one change. Udrago's gone off with injury. And oof, other than that, I don't really know what else to do. I, we went off for Campwell, by the way. And there's one thing I did forget to do. Stiller is going to go there. Seki is actually going to come on. As a Mazala. Where is Mazala? Come on. I mean, we have to try and do something here. At this point, we've got nothing to lose. You know what? Attacking. We may as well. Unless we continually get destroyed. Oh, Lynch has just nicked the ball off here and has pulled one back. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's just try and win the game on the night. Let's just try and win the game on the night and just see where it goes. 
Actually, I know where it'll go. If we win the game on the night, it'll go to extra time because we haven't got the away goal advantage anymore. But let's just focus on trying to drag ourselves back into this. And Lynch has started the process. Let's see what more we can actually do. We are currently on attacking. I thought he'd missed the ball there somehow. So Gabriel actually saved that one this time. Thank goodness. Throw in with Charisma taking it. Seki. Nick Lanfu lets it go onto his foot. There is Campwell. Still up. Play it in. There is Gonzalez. Ginchard! Just over. He shot it with so much venom. Oh, it is a corner. Oh, it got saved. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Seki into Lovato, but he couldn't quite direct it. Goal bound. And it remains 2 1. We've got 10 minutes left. We've got a substitute remaining. Ginchard is looking very tired, so we're going to have to take him off. In fact, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. Lynch will go on the left-hand side. Balogun can go up front. I, just, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Who knows? I mean, football managers have done weirder things before. Really, hasn't it? I remember in FM20 when I was when I lost to Bayern Munich as Arsenal. We went to Bayern Munich's ground and absolutely smacked them 4-1. I mean, granted, um, we weren't... 5-3 down on aggregate in the last few, with a few minutes to go as we just win the ball back there Campwell taking it forward there is Balogun there is Lynch <laughs> Lynch no way no way three minutes to go plus injury time I told you football manager does drama I told you it does drama it gives you that little hope whether the hope um, comes off or not who knows but oh man it does give you that little sliver of hope which it either gives to you or it then takes away. Come on, there we can encourage at least. We can encourage the boys. Do they know much about coming back from the dead effectively? Oh, you bet they do. There is Fires. He has picked the ball up here. And Fires has actually done it! Oh my god, Fires has just le leveled the whole tie. I can't even get my words out. What did I say about hope spot that football manager gives you? This team just carries on. It really just drags itself, drags results out of itself. Lynch did the he, he did a lot of the hard work, as did Campwell. He's done very well since coming on. And we are into extra time. And I've got a lot of very tired players. It's time for everyone to dig in. At Absolutely dig in. I don't know why Ginchard is uh, angry. Have we got another substitute? Oh, Ginchard's not even on the pitch anyway, so it don't matter. Uh, Gonzalez. Oh. Um, right, Gonzalez is going off. Castillo is going to come on. I know Gonzalez is important for us, but I, I don't really want to lose <laughs> Gonzalez to injury. We've already lost Gavin to injury. In the last match, Fires is absolutely shattered as well. I can't say encouraged because we're leading 3-2 on the night. But I remember this from the last tie. We're leading 3-2 on the night, but we're drawing on aggregate. I can't say uh, needs you to. Be, I need to encourage them. Lynch. Oh, just dropped by the keeper. Balogun picks it up, and there it is. Fires. Oh, just wide. Oh, the agony. We've got a lot of tired legs out there. Oh my gosh. This team is trying. They are really, really trying. Let's just drop back to positive. There's no point going on full attacking. I know we're looking for that extra goal, but there's no point completely destroying ourselves at this point. I think we've destroyed ourselves anyway. Have you seen how tired we are? Seki plays a beautiful ball over to Lynch. Fires! Oh, I thought he won it for us. Oh, so close. Ah, uh, and there is Stiller, and that's both our defensive midfielders. That's a knee injury as well. Yikes. We... Oh, hmm. Uh, um, um, yeah, yeah, Campwell. Sorry, man, you're, you're just going to have to play there. Oh, gosh. Right, Balogun. Uh, fires, drop back to a support role. That's both of our uh, defensive midfielders as well. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that that's hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, we're going to penalties though. <laughs> that's a good thing. And do you know what? I'm just going to let the assistant manager choose this. Right. 
It's out of our hands now. Uh, hands together. Pick your spot. Don't change your mind. It's out of our hands. We've lost both our defensive midfielders across these two games. And we've taken it all the way to penalties. Cantwell sticks it away. 1-0. But it's the case of now just sitting back and just seeing where this goes. And if we can create heroics. And that's exactly what Gabriel has done. Oh, he's a hero. He was the villain earlier after his own goal. Seki stepping up. Scores. 2-0. On penalties. It's going to be awkward, actually. Well, I say it'll be awkward. You know what? Let's just not jinx it. Let's just wait until the very end. Gabriel making himself big, but it's not enough. Let's just wait until the end before I say anything else. As far as the team goes. Balogun. Didn't think he'd be stepping up in a big spot like this. <sighs> Saved. The only reason I say that because I didn't think he'd still be in the squad at this stage of the season. But he is. Sanchez steps up and scores. It's 2-2 on... Penalties, fires, four freaking fires, 23 goals, 24 goals this season. Still 24, doesn't count on penalties of course, but he sticks it away, 3-2. We're looking for heroics from Gabriel here, just like he did earlier. <sighs> went the wrong way, went the wrong way man. Peter Lynch. You would have bet him on scoring that. Oh no, now we need Gabriel to make himself a double hero in this penalty shootout. We looked comfortable, but we've just absolutely thrown it away. Peter Lynch of all players. They step up. <sighs> Scores to send Lille through. Oh, and heartbreak. Oh. We gave everything. That is heartbreak. Unlucky boys. That's a wonder kid I was looking to sign. He doesn't want to join us. That is fine. Right. <laughs> that is big disappointment, but uh, I'm proud of the team. I mean, 5 2 down on aggregate to bring it back to 5 5. I can't really ask much more of them. We went down to 10 men in extra time and then took it to penalties. It's one of those things. We just have to come back stronger. Well, we have to try and finish the season as strongly as possible. We will be back for the final two games of the season. Home ties against Wolves and Southampton. Hopefully we can secure some more Premier League football for next season. As much as it was heartbreaking to go out in the quarterfinals of the Europa League, I hope you enjoyed that episode, folks. And if you did, and if you're looking forward, to the end of the season and hopefully some good transfers in the summer make sure to hit the like button down below and smash the big red subscribe button it truly helps the channel out it helps us in the uh, algorithm of youtube but thank you so much for joining me on this journey and hopefully we will have more next season until the next episode i'll see you again very very soon